Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look at an area of FIFA Ultimate Team today that is very popular. It's a very popular way to make coins and to get some packs to open, and that is League SBCs. We did have a League SBC introduced into the game today, and I want to take you guys through the process of how you can make coins from doing a League SBC and also um, using Footbin to do that and also being on the market, what kind of times you can look at to maybe buy some of these cards for cheaper if you actually want to complete the SBC yourself or if you just want to trade with these cards. I want to talk about all about making coins from League SBC. So today we got the Bundesliga SBC. It is repeatable. That's the biggest thing with these SBCs. We have two rewards uh, that you can get out of this. I don't know if I can actually show them to you inside of the SBC menu. Um, I actually don't know if I can, to be honest. And now, well, let me, oh, there we go. We click on the Bundesliga SBC, and there are two cards that you can get as a, um, from a, from this SBC, but it is repeatable. So like last year, you can do this SBC over and over and over again, get the duplicate player. You can get that reward multiple times and turn it in for another SBC that requires an 83 or an 84 rated player or whatever, you can just keep rinsing and repeating through this SBC to get the packs. And let me be honest with you, these packs are really, really good. As we look through all these packs for a lot of these challenges, a small rare gold players pack that's half of a 50K pack, rare Electrum, rare mixed players pack, small gold players pack, mega pack, rare mixed, rare gold pack, prime Electrum, premium gold. A lot of these packs are really solid packs. I mean, the worst one in here actually might be like this pack right here, this Electrum Players Pack. That might be one of the worst ones that's in here or a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. But honestly, for what you're paying for this SBC at the moment, uh, you're getting a lot of decent packs from this SBC. Obviously, this is only the first one, uh, so we have to look into that kind of stuff. But this is a way that you can grind packs um, by getting these cards throughout the year Maybe you get them from a pack pull, store them in your club, and chip away at those SBCs. Or, this is a fantastic way to trade on FIFA Ultimate Team with these SBCs. And you might be asking, how do you trade with these SBCs? Well, the best thing you can do is find players that are rare and find players that you need to complete these SBCs. People that grind the league SBCs all the time know the players that you have to do. Maybe one or two players that you can switch out inside of a squad that makes the SBC completable. Um, and one squad that I was looking at in particular that I found already that has some shortcomings uh, or some ways to make coins. Whenever you see a lot of silvers in the solutions on Footbin for how to complete one of these SBCs, and that's the first thing I want to talk to you guys about. Looking at the solutions for these SBCs, there's not a ton of them right now. And by looking through the list of squads in the Bundesliga, I know that FC Union Berlin uh, is going to have a lot of silvers in it because it's not one of those squads that is up near the top. So I want to go take a look at this squad right here. So we have a couple squads, Lenz, um, Subotic, Maloney, Cade, Dale. There's a few guys in here. If you go look through a couple of the squads, you're going to notice a few of the guys are in both squads. Those are going to be some of the guys that you want to focus on. Cade is in both of these. Subotic is in both of these. The goalkeeper was in both of the squads. And Lenz was in both of the squads as well. When you see players like that, you know that they're going to be required for these uh, league SBCs, and that means they're going to carry a higher price tag. I'm going to look up Lens right now in the market, left back from this team. Left back from this team. How much does the man go for? 4K, no. 7K, no. 8K. The man is around 8,000 coins for this Lens card. It's what it costs you to buy this left back that you need basically for this SBC. Um, and right now, Flippin says that this SBC costs you 8,000 coins. That is definitely not true. So if we go back over here to Footbin, it says that on the market lens is 1,300 coins, and it even says that out here on the graph. It shows you, oh, this FC Union Berlin SBC is only 9.4K. Well, you know there's a lot of silvers involved there. The SBC has newly come out onto the game. You know that's not entirely true. So you can take a look at a lot of these silvers in the leagues, especially the outside backs. This lens, uh, this Union right here, is a great... Um, it's a great example of some of these SBCs that cost a lot to do inside of a league SBC because they have silvers on the outside edge, maybe only one uh, left back or right back in the team, and you need 
that left back or right back for chemistry reasons based on whatever uh, formation they have because a lot of these SBCs require 11 players from the same team and 95 chemistry somewhere in that range and some of them have a rating as well. This one has a 69 uh, squad rating. So you only you can only afford one or two or three bronzes if you get all the possible golds that you can get. But the best time to trade, and people that trade with League SBCs, they grind hard, and these are very, very profitable methods. So speaking of this lens guy right here, maybe if we look at some other guy like the right back in the squad, his name is Trimmel. Let me look him up as well. Christopher Trimmel, how much is he? He's also um, pretty inflated. It looks like he's somewhere around 4,000 coins. Actually, maybe around 5K. I saw one there with like a four, yeah, 4,000 coins for Trimble at the moment. Uh, so that's an inflated card. That's a card that you're going to be able to trade with on this game. So the best time to buy these cards, a lot of these silvers get supplied through different packs that show up in the store um, and marquee matchups and obviously uh, squad battle rewards and weekend league rewards time is a great time if you're looking to complete SBCs or get some of these cards in your club to you know watch their watch their fluctuations. Some of these cards are going to fluctuate, um, kind of like the way that informs do or the way that uh, gold cards do when they're high in demand. Uh, whenever there are special cards that are in packs, the demand for these league SBCs will go up. Obviously, that means there will be more packs open, maybe for lightning rounds and such. But that will give you an opportunity, maybe after a weekend of lightning rounds, people want to get more packs, especially during a time like Team of the Year. Um, you're going to be able to get on the market and look at these silver players, or maybe some of the non-rare golds that are inflated because of these League SBCs, and get them for cheaper after all those packs are open. Let me go take a look at um, marquee matchups right now, because this is a, definitely an easy way to get some silver supply and get some of the supply for these lower rated cards in the game. Uh, and you guys are gonna learn, if you start trading with these uh, League SBCs enough, you're gonna learn, okay, there's a couple guys from like maybe Mines or Dusseldorf or Augsburg or um, Union Berlin that we were looking at. For some of these teams, you're gonna remember some of the guys that are expensive and that are definitely needed and that causes their price to go up. You know, some three, four, five, six thousand coin silvers that you need to complete a lot of these SBCs um, and you're going to know when the supply comes onto the market, you're going to notice that price. It's just like a fluctuation of another card of like an inform on this game. That price is going to go down. Boom. This pack right here, Bordeaux versus St. Etienne was in marquee matchups this week, and it gives you a jumbo premium silver pack. This would be the pack that I would love to see every week when there's league SBCs out. Um, and because this means there's going to be a lot of that silver supply coming onto the game. Uh, and maybe even some bronze cards as well through some of these packs that they put out here. Bronze pack method is going to allow bronze pack method to be more profitable. League SBCs will. Um, you know, you have some bronze guys like that Cade that we saw from Union Berlin selling right now. Let's see how much he sells for. So bronze pack method, and honestly, some people do silver packs. Those can be profitable as well. How much is Cade? Cade is 2,000 coins for a non-rare bronze. So again... If you guys get random like uh, reward packs from logging into the companion app or the web app or um, just some type of reward pack, this is now the time of the year where you have to start checking prices. You have to start checking prices for those cards because you might have uh, a Bundesliga player or whatever SBC is out at the time, however many SBCs they have out. A lot of people won't even realize that this card is going for 2K. You'll look on the market, see an undercut and be able to flip it, that's a great way to, to, to um, make coins off of these cards. Also with bidding. I'm going to go to my transfer targets again and see if that lens card sold. As you can tell, I've been looking at a lot of higher rated cards. So both of those lens sold at 7,500 and at 7,900 coins. So people are literally paying 8K for this card. You can make a ton of coins on these silver cards by getting on the bids at nighttime, getting on the bids during... Um, Squad battle rewards. This is going to just open up a whole new realm of trading in the FIFA Ultimate Team market since these cards, uh, since these SBCs are going to be very highly in demand. I mean, to be honest, a lot of people are going to do these SBCs. How long does this Cade card stay up on the market? Instantly gone at a 400 coin undercut at 1.6k uh, for Cade, the German center attacking mid. This is an incredible way to make coins. If you're somebody who loves methods like this, um, you're you're loving that League SBCs are actually out, they're repeatable, and that they're here on the game. So 
I wanted to bring you guys this video today to talk about some of that stuff, but also to kind of mention to you guys that, hey, maybe, you know, if you pack a guy like this Cade, or you, you, this is why I always send items to the club and don't quick sell any duplicates that don't sell for anything. Uh, because, shoot, even my club right now, let me check through some of the Bundesliga guys that I have in my club. Maybe I have some Bundesliga guys in my club right now that are inflated because of these SBCs. Uh, wow, I literally have nobody in my club. What about this guy? Tommy. How much does he sell for right now? He's from Dusseldorf. Uh, he's a silver. Boom. A left mid silver. He sells. The man sells for 6,400. 6,400 coins. Uh, 7K right there. Now we can watch some of these bids and see, get an actual little reading, see where his price goes. Um, but right now, I'm going to list him up, dude. I will take. I will take, let's say, 5,800 coins for a silver card, non-rare. That's the kind of stuff that you're now going to have in the game that we've had in years past, especially last year, that people thought we weren't going to have SBCs this year because of a couple statements that were made from people in the FIFA community. Some people didn't think we are going to have League SBCs. Thankfully, we do. And um, they're here to, and it's, it's a great way to make coins on. It's a great way to get some packs. And obviously, I just talked to you guys through that, so hopefully you understood that. If you have any questions, of course, about League SBCs, they are the perfect thing for somebody who's going to spend a lot of time in this game and grind it to either get the packs or to get the coins. Again, whenever you see silver packs that are out, a lot of those silver cards that you know are good for League SBCs that are inflated, I think about last year, there were so many La Liga SBC cards, um, League SBC cards from... Uh, one of the teams that were like 20,000 coins and they would drop down to like 10,000 coins when we would get a pack supply and they would shoot right back up to 20 as people were doing SBC packs. Even right now, I think people are going and doing this Bundesliga League SBC because they want to be able to get the packs that you can get from this SBC. Uh, right now, it says it costs you about 198,000 coins according to Footbin. So I would expect a lot of the SBCs um, to... To be somewhere around that cost, around 200,000 coins, maybe the Premier League's a little bit more, um, but I'm just glad that these SBCs are back in the game. And always, of course, make sure you look at the requirements of these SBCs. Bayern's SBC only requires six Bayern players uh, because so many of them are high rated that it would make the, the cost of the SBC crazy. Uh, so definitely take a look at that if you're actually going and completing the SBC yourself. And use Footbin to your advantage when you're trading with this stuff, figuring out which silver cards are very cheap. Use Footbin to your advantage. Go on here, look through some of the lesser known teams in the Bundesliga, the lesser popular teams, maybe that have lower quality squads. Those are where you're going to find some of the silvers. Again, like Dusseldorf. I had that guy in my club just now that I listed up. How many of the guys that are in here um, are silver? So we have a bunch of silvers in here. And I bet they're all not really 700 or 1,000 coins. So um, this is something you guys can look out for to make a ton of coins with this year. A rare bronze, some bronzes in here as well. Bronze pack method, again, is going to be great. You can probably even open silver packs if you want to. But then again, this adds value to even doing marquee matchups and getting silver packs. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Hopefully I was informative and in teaching you about League SBCs and how you can make some coins off them. It is an absolute bomb, lower budget method. For a lot of people, I'm gonna bid on this lens card. I know we can sell, I can sell them at 7K, um, but it is an absolute bomb method for people that are on low coin amounts, low coin budgets. Obviously, right now I have 300,000 coins. It might not be the best for me to be trading with some of these SBCs at the moment, uh, but it is a very easy way to make some coins. And of course, uh, this is a way to get you off the ground if you're starting an RTG. This is a great way to trade on the low budget. It's very simple trading. You're just trying to flip those cards that are in high demand because of SBCs uh, being out on the market and people wanting to complete those SBCs for uh, packs. Boom, we just got this lens card right here for 4,100 coins and I know that he sells almost instantly at around 7K. We just watched him. So I'm going to list that up and take a nice th almost 3,000 coin profit on that one silver card uh, right there, which is awesome. That's freaking awesome to be able to make profits like that uh, from League SBC. So again, if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.